Hey y'all, welcome back to my video. Playing from iPhone 12. Hey y'all, welcome back to my video. And in this video, I'm taking out my hair. I already. Playing from iPhone 12. taking down my hair at the moment we started another video i just came back from going out and it's literally 2 48 in the morning but i at least want to get my back to get down so i can do the rest because yeah this is not gonna work for me so i just suggested like i just thought about y'all taking my hair out with me it may be answering some questions, even though there's not really no questions that I came up with or asked you all to ask me. So, I'm really just going to, I guess, tell you some, something about myself. Because um, I really haven't did, like, a get to know me. I did one when I was younger, but I deleted that video. So, to get started, um, the first one will be... What's my name? My name is Anaya Saray. Um, that's my first, my first and my, you know, my other name. <laughs> um, that's kind of where you get Forever Saray from, because I'm forever gonna be me. That's my YouTube name as well. Okay, on to the next question. What is, what do I do? What I do right now at the moment is, I am a full-time college student at Xavier University of Louisiana. I'm a full-time college student. I'm YouTuber, as you can see, right here my vids. And I'm trying to get my business back off the ground. I restarted it about when I came to college because I had to switch whole lifestyle of how I operate and conduct my business as a business owner. So I took a little pause on it, but they're coming back what is my angle now i like this question i like to have a lot of people ask me this question because i feel like a lot of people don't understand what an angle is or a lot of people don't look at the angle or really you know pay attention to it but for me my angle is to be a serial entrepreneur with my big girl job which i'm here at xavier trying to pursue but I want to be a serial entrepreneur and I want to change a lot of people's lives like in so many different ways. For me, my big girl job is to be a surgeon. Right now at the moment, my the like surgeon I want to be is a general surgeon. It might change, you know, as I progress, as I get older. Because this major right now that I am, it's really getting me like front, back, center, left. It's so humbling. College is so humbling. Like... I'm trying to like finish this part and then I'll like do the rest in the morning. I really need to cut my ears, so we gonna see. How long have I been on YouTube? Now, if we go back to my first video ever, I think I did like my first video in like eighth grade or whatever, like probably before eighth grade. I've been doing YouTube since I was like a early teenager, like yeah. And YouTube, it's a passion for me personally. It's not a job when I think of it because simple stuff like this, I like to look back on my life and I like like to share my experiences with people so that people don't like, they can use that for their benefit because a lot of the stuff that I skipped out on is because of my mom and me listening to her. You ain't got to listen to me. I don't think that I know it all. I feel like wisdom is not knowing anything at all. And the only way to be wise is to be aware that you don't know anything. And I don't know a lot. I don't. I'm just trying to figure out this thing that we call life here, you know? So, if you want to figure out this thing called life with me, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on my social media platforms. Keep, keep up with me. Because I'm keeping up with you. That's all I'm saying. 
I prefer to work hard and party with other people are working, you know? Not all party at the same time. I don't have to do that. And I'd rather party over the country or something. I like trips. I like catching flights. So, yeah. I don't know if I answered this question, but the next question would be, how old are you? At the moment, I'm 18. I don't have no issue saying that. I'm 18 years old. I just hit the thing that y'all yeah, call adulthood. Um, uh, one more question. Well, I don't know if this is my last question, but another question would be, what is an advice? I what is some advice I can give young ladies today, or males or whatever? Some advice I can give. Um, I don't know if anybody watched Peach McIntyre, but when she be saying life is full with adversities. That is some real stuff. And with that being said, be aware that you're not invincible. Be aware that anything can knock you down and it has the power to knock you down, knock you to your lowest form. But be aware that your job in life, this is your only job until you pass away, Lord's willing, whatever the time is, God forbid, whatever you want me to say. Whenever you pass away, that's when your job is done. But your job in this life is to keep on fighting and find a way to persevere no matter what the circumstance is or what you have to do. Not what you have to do like for as doing anything bad, but like know that like I'm not too good to do this or I'm not too good to do that. You can do literally anything. You could be a millionaire one day and still have to clean toilets the next. So, with that also being said, be humble. You ain't gotta be, you ain't gotta be humble to the point where you don't even celebrate your victories. But be humble to the point where you're aware that your life could change. Be humble to the point that if you don't do it, it needs to be done. Because I hate me a person who talk down on people. Like, who talk down on people just because they ain't gotta do something. Because them tables are going to turn. They're going to turn. Tables turn all through our life. That's what this game is. It's a table turning game. So, yeah. Another question that I have. I don't know how many questions we're on. I don't know how many questions it's going to be. Y'all just bear with me. I'm taking down my hair. So, just bear with me. It's going to be a lot of questions because we're still in the back. Another question that we had is... Who is somebody that motivates you, inspires you? I have like a few people right now at the moment. Um, somebody who really motivates me and inspires me is everybody know their mom. You're always gonna say your mom, but my mom do inspire me and motivates me. She motivates me to keep going. She's my biggest cheerleader. I really love the girl. Love her to pieces. Can't even lie. And my dad. Love them both to pieces. But somebody who really motivates me is my motivational life coach street poet i actually seen her today in person for the first time which is so crazy to me and bizarre like i was just living in a moment and it's like it made me want to even chase my dreams super hard because it made me want to chase my dreams harder because I know she poet. Like, I read her book. I went through all the stuff. Like, I, I know her. I feel like, like, I feel like that's my cousin. And I know that we cousins. But for me to walk up to somebody that I really have that motivates me and that's really close to me, for me to walk up to somebody like that and they don't know my face off real or know my name without me telling them, I feel like, okay, hold on. Let me, let me get my stuff together. Let me upgrade because, you know, like, it's not even about social status or anything like that. I just want you to know I see you and I need you to see me. Like, we're cousins. What's going on? We're not cousins on your end? Because I know all my cousins. I just want you to know me. Like, you know, not nothing in your street. I'm just saying. That's my cousin for life. Like, she better... Next time I see her, she better say, hey, Naya, like, you know, Naya Saray, that's you? Yeah. Yeah. 
so that motivates me as well to get my dreams accomplished <laughs> if that makes sense like i really i really want to be around the people that i really look up to and that i am i am inspired by i want to be surrounded by those people constantly so for me to be surrounded by those people i need to step my game up you know so yeah don't be afraid to do that at all well guys i'm gonna finish with this i'm gonna tap back in when i'm gonna take down some more of my braids i have like three left and we're right we're here hopefully y'all seen it if you didn't it's not nothing that you're missing so yeah bye hey guys so it's the next day i only have this part left we took down the rest of the hair um i cut some in the process on accident y'all know how that goes um i was going to like like look at this <laughs> They're literally hanging on by a string. I was gonna finish, like, ask some questions and stuff and come back and show y'all. But y'all have seen people take down their hair. I don't have to keep coming out here. And I was gonna show you, like, wash day and stuff, everything of, like, that nature. But, ooh, I might have cut my hair too short. It's okay. But. Let's see. Um, I'm in a dorm, so this is my first time washing my hair in this dorm. So it's gonna be very different for me. So I don't know how I'm gonna show y'all. We gotta wait until I wash my hair a few times to be able to show y'all. But I plan on styling my hair this upcoming like break or whatever. So y'all will be able to see that styling portion. I started taking out my hair at 10 something this morning. It is currently almost 2. And I'm almost done. I should be done by 2 30. Latest. Yeah. Two. I'm going to go study after I finish taking out my hair. I just want to take my hair down while I study. So, like before I study. So, I won't be thinking about it or getting distracted by the fact that I still want to take down my hair. Like I have to complete certain tasks, and I have not ate today. And our calf, our calf closes at two, but I'm not going to the calf until my hair is taken down. That's just how I feel. But I have food here, so I'm not starving myself, guys. Like I'm gonna eat. You know, I just have to let that be known so he can not think. But yeah, I take down the braid, and most of my braids got build up so bad because i had them up for so long so now i just like detangle the build up yeah there you go you just gotta break it down one good time and after that it's all up yeah that's all build up in here now i've been washing my hair don't get it twisted i've been washing my hair but build up just come with this Especially since I like retwisted the root around the front so my braids could look fresh for like a week or so. Now I have build up. Yeah. I'm gonna just let y'all ride. I ain't gonna count. The pretty little scheme. Save her mind. Hold her hand. And don't believe a lie. You understand. Walk her down the valley, pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet. Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach, like the angels do. And you gon' make it through now. Tell about the healer, greater is the one within and call him as the leader. Teach her how to hold a pretty hand up to the sky and have a weight upon the giver. He'll deliver like a dealer. Take her.
her feet for running Show her every door and how the windows let the sun in Copy out the key and tell her this is for becoming Even in the fever, baby, cry and get to running And tell her that you better get your bootstraps up You're with the army Ready when the truth act up, nothing can harm me Yelling from the roof, I touch, put up a guard and count to ten Lion's den, speaking with a higher pen Can't be touched by fire then Fast forward to the grown things now I'm working on them soul things now Forgiving all your old ways But it's harder on the cold days Never been a product of a flaw all this environment Never acted like I'm higher than You, 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 you And I still pray Dear God, won't you send me a break Cause, Cause I, I need to get away, yeah Dear God, won't you send me a break Cause I, I need to get away, yeah Cause I would rather be, rather be You call me by my name The love you give me I just can't deny Yeah, No longer blinded I can see you I'm on my way to meet you We gotta talk, you know Okay guys, we're down to the last two braids And my hair is just not looking good things a few more things a few more questions with these last two braids one of the questions was when was i born i already told you how old i was but when was i born i was born on april 12th um i'm an aries you know aries gang come through come through um i'm forgetting the questions guys i'm not gonna lie i just am really ready to get this stuff out of my head me and mama was just having a conversation as well about how braids make you feel so dirty as you're taking it down. Like, that you seeing all the junk in your hair falling out, old hair and stuff. It just make you feel like really dirty. And I don't know, maybe it's just us, but I have never been able to take my braids down and wear my braid out like after I took these braids out. If it's my real hair, yeah. If it's weave in here, no. Like, I have to, I have to wash my hair. It don't be like nothing. Like the, it ain't no weight like the weight of braids like coming off of your head. It ain't no other feeling. Like, yeah, I'm trying to get as much dirt out of my hair as possible. I just don't like all that. Let me show y'all my real hair thing. This is all of like my hair. Yes. Ew, disgusting. 
I I have no words. Did your mama. That's all I can say. So yeah. I'm gonna actually clean up my room. This is my hair guys she's literally shorter on this side and I don't know why you don't touch your mama my hair get this get this out of my head and then go study and I actually have to clean up like let me show y'all the floor because I just been throwing the hair on the floor hold on let me show this is like the towel up here that I have going on around my floor it's a little over here too that's how bad I want it out of my hair like I have bags and everything. Somebody came here and actually asked me, like, do I need a Walmart bag? No, babes. I, I got this under control. I have the bags and everything. It's just, I just wanted it all so bad. Like, you don't even care. So, yeah. Took my braids out, finally. After a little struggle. I took them out. I want the hair off of my robe, but the only thing I would have took my hair down in is my robe because I hate I hate when hair get on my skin. That's just me. Everybody different. But with that being said, so I can stop rambling, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I answered some questions or showed y'all a little bit about me on the other side. On the other side, I hope that you know. You tune in to my next video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with your friends. Turn on my post notifications if you can. Yeah. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye -bye.